Hey guys, it's phase one. Today I'd like to quickly go over um, how to mine. Um, just some simple concepts that you can follow to to get yourself some minerals. I know that when you're starting off in the game, the f one of the first things that you're going to be doing is to mine to be able to sell the, the, the mine ores and to earn some quanta which is the currency in the game of dual universe so what I would like to do is um, I'm first gonna show you um, the very first tool that you can use to mine is number one which would allow you to pick up ores such as the ores that lay on the surfaces of planets right so this will pick these up right and you and as you go you'll find these right so um but what i really want to show you guys is how to mine ore underneath the surface of the of the planetoid that you're working on so um so you'll you'll hit the three key the three key will allow, will allow you to scan your vicinity as you move it'll send out a pulse to scan and what it allow what it allow you to do is on this graph here as you can see it allow you to it'll show you whether you're closer or not so if you can see it um so the lower the number that means the closer you are so you can just go around just looking for it and um and you can see that the different types of ores are are, sh are showing here so as i go you'll see that i'm getting closer so based on um, the number is getting lower um, it'll give me an indication that I'm, I'm a little bit closer so what we're doing is this is literally underneath me so before I start digging I just want to get as close as possible and one key thing that I like to show you guys is um, how to filter as well so if you're looking for something specific you can hit the tab you can uh, once you hit the tab key you can click on here and then here you can alter what you're looking for right you can literally select what you're looking for right so for me in my case i'm looking for uh hematite so i i i'm looking to get um iron so i need to get hematite in order to refine it into iron so i'm filtering it to just that so now that's all i'm seeing on my graph right so you can do that so I'm just gonna go hover around and um, see if I can looks like I'm I'm further away from it so one thing I would advise is link yourself to your ships container so I'm already linked to it um, if you go here you'll see that I'm already linked to it right so make sure you link yourself to the container that way as you extract the ore it will go straight to that container Hopefully it's not too far that way I don't go out of uh, exactly link container is not the active container okay okay hopefully I don't go out of range because if you go out of range then you'll just be using your na your nano pack so so I think it's it's around here I think it's around here this one is a little bit deeper further down so we're gonna start here so what you'll do is just go straight down hit L to get your lights up your L key will also allow you to um, I don't know what what the word for it is but it'll give you the degrees on the direction that you're pointing in degrees to to my right there um, in the UI and it'll give you some ideas of where you're your fit where you're pointing your cursor so we're just gonna dig straight down and um, so just head straight up and one thing I advise is on your ships if you're new you may not have this option but on your ships make sure you install a resurrection node and with that resurrection node it'll allow you to once you extract the ore you don't need to have to figure your way back up you can just respawn yourself and you will spawn back into your ship so make sure to install a resurrection node into your ship and it'll it'll save you a lot of times because if you're going this deep it's just a waste of time trying to find your way back up especially if you dig a really complicated network um, 
uh, to find the ore right so I'm, I'm as you can see as I'm going further down I am getting closer and closer to it so we're just gonna keep going and uh, one thing that I, I forget to mention to you guys is you guys can you can pulse and you can find you can pulse manually as well so you don't have to um, rely on the automatic pulse so if you hold your left um, alt key and you and you click your left mouse button right you can pulse manually like that so it's just in case if you want to um, further pinpoint where where the ore is so we're gonna keep going it's a little bit further down I wish it was closer for just for this example but it's good for you guys to see cuz sometimes the ore that you're looking for is a lot further down and I'm kind of hoping that it's uh yeah I'm getting closer I'm kind of hoping that it's a big node because I, I need a lot of iron uh, so I'm kind of hoping that it's a big node so now as we get closer you can you can alternate to um, you can alternate your graph um, you, you'll see as we, we, we continue to see go when we get close enough the last line here at the bottom will okay so I think I'm not going any further as I go down so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go in um, four directions I'm gonna start with this way to see um, if I get closer when I go in that direction right so we're gonna go this way right so pay attention to the degrees right this will give you my this will t show you that you're you're leveled with the terrain that way you're not going further down so so am I getting closer I think I might be let's see here let's let's get one more pulse as we go uh, yeah we're getting closer so that means we're heading sorta of in the right direction it might not be straight ahead but it might uh, be on my sides or right above me so when we get close enough I will show you how to find it so now that we've crossed the last line you can switch to this right if you hold left alt and scroll your mouse button down um, you can alternate to this one so now I'm a lot closer so I can it'll allow me to further easily easily identify the location of the ore so we're getting we're getting a little bit closer but I think we're not going directly towards it I think we're passing it I want to get to 30 before I start with my other scanning tool that I want to show I forget the names of it but I'll, I will show you guys shortly so we're not going closer so I think let's see if we can find it here so if you hit 4 so now this will pulse automatically it, it's not the same kind of pulse but it scans and then it will detect as soon as it detects you'll see it right and at the bottom it will tell you whether the kind of volume uh, the ore is so right now this is more towards the lighter in terms of volume so the the hematite that I'm looking for is in this direction so I guess we're lucky we're able to easily find it sometimes you just gotta keep sometimes if you can't find it you just gotta just keep doing this right just see if you can find what direction it is so I was lucky that I I pointed my cursor in the right direction so we'll just keep going straight because this is where it's indicating the ore is at and then uh, we'll just uh, hopefully it's close so yeah so when you reach around 40 we're within 40 meters 30 30 or 40 meters you can switch over to this tool your scanner so now I think it's a little bit up and then you can uh, so it's it's right here okay 
ha ah, there we go so there it is so now that we found it hit your number two and then now you can start extracting the ore right so since i'm linked to my container on my ship it's automatically placing it to there so you don't have to and i'll show you the reason why i'm doing this uh, once we finish so yeah so keep extracting get all the ore that you can get i'm hoping this is a big node i don't think it is but can only hope all right See if you can get all of this. Okay, I think it's. I think we're almost done here. Yeah, and sometimes when you get low enough, you'll you'll hit water. Don't be afraid of the water, you can go under it, so don't worry about that. You can go under under the water, no problem. When I first started, I was afraid of the water. I didn't I wasn't sure. I thought I was gonna die if I went into it. But you can you can definitely get in go into the water, so don't be afraid of that. Uh I think we're almost done here. All right. I think that's it right there. I think that is it now, right? So, so now this is what we're going to do. Instead of finding our way back, so what we're going to do is we're going to verify that our nano pack is completely empty like this, right? And our link container, everything is in our link container. So now what we're going to do is we're going to hit escape and we're going to do force respawn like i said and then you end up back in your ship and then you're good to go you can go and find your next one right so um what i wanted to show you was uh forget the names of these tools i just want to quickly show it to you so the first one your your key your keybind one is your harvest tool your um the scanner when we get close enough it's actually called the direct the directional de detector and then your scanner is what finds the ore for you so and your mine tool is the one that actually grabs the um, extracts the ore itself right so yeah so if you're new to this channel make sure to subscribe if you like anything in this video um, leave a like and uh, if you have any questions leave it in the comments below all right, all right, I will see you on the next one.